Hello, this is Emma And tonight I'm going to read to you by candlelight I picked out a few books sleep This first book is called Silence The Power of Quiet in a World Full of Noise by revered master of mindfulness hearts and minds are sometimes so full of noise, we can't always hear the call of life and love, or connect with the happiness that surrounds us. But to hear that call and respond to it, we need silence. mostly in the monastic community he founded in France Plum Village Gold 
God is a sound. The creator of the cosmos is a sound. Everything begins with the sound. Page 42 Practice Nourishing When feeling lonely or anxious, most of us have the habit of looking for distractions, which often leads to some form of unwholesome consumption whether eating a snack in the absence of hunger, mindlessly surfing the internet, going on a drive, or reading. I'm not sure that reading is an unwholesome consumption. Conscious breathing is a good way to nourish body and mind with mindfulness. After a mindful breath or two, you may have less desire to fill yourself up or distract yourself. Your body and mind come back and both are nourished by your mindfulness of breathing. Your breath will naturally grow more relaxed and help the tension in your body to be released. breathing will give you a nourishing break. It will also make your mindfulness stronger. So when you want to look into your anxiety or other emotions, you have the calm and concentration to be able to do so. Meditation has been practiced since the time of the Buddha. You can practice the following exercise when you sit or walk in sitting meditation. It's important for you to be comfortable and for your spine to be straight and relaxed. You can sit on a cushion with your legs crossed or on a chair with your feet flat on the floor. With the first in breath, say the first line of the meditation below silently to yourself and with the out breath say the second line with the following in and out breaths you can just you can use just the keyword
breathing in. I know I'm breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in, my breath grows deep. Breathing out, my breath grows slow. Deep, slow. Breathing in. my body, breathing out, I calm my body, aware of body, calming, breathing in, Breathing in, I dwell in the present moment. Breathing out, I enjoy the present moment. Present. thrive when the world overwhelms you. Contents Preface Are you highly sensitive? A self-test? Acknowledgements? The facts about being highly sensitive 
it a wrong sense of being flawed digging deeper understanding your trait for all that it is general health and lifestyle for HSP Loving and learning from your infant body self. Reframing your childhood and adolescence. Learning to parent yourself. Social relationships. The slide. This book provides basic, detailed information you need about your trait, data that exists nowhere else. It is the product of five years of research, in-depth interviews, clinical experience, courses and individual consultations with hundreds of HSPs and careful reading between the lines of what psychology has always has already learned about the trait but does not realise it knows in the first three chapters you will learn all the basic facts about your trait and how to handle overstimulation and over arousal of your nervous system. balancing act. How much you are out in the world or how much you avoid it must be answered individually and will change with time. I realise too that for most people a lack of time and money make the balancing act very difficult. We are forced to make choices and set priorities, but being very conscientious. HSPs often put themselves last, or at least we give ourselves no more time off or opportunity to learn new skills than anyone else. In fact, however, we need more. 
If you are in too much, the evidence is clear that you and your subtle sensitivity are needed in the world. If you are out too much, the evidence is equally clear that you will perform any responsibility far better if you obtain adequate rest and recreation. Here is the wise advice of one HSP I interviewed. You need to learn all about this sensitivity it will be an obstacle or an excuse only if you allow it to be. For myself, when I am too withdrawn, I would like to stay home for the rest of my life. But it is self-destructive, so I go out to meet the rest of the world, then come back to incorporate them. Creative people need time without people, but they can't go too long. When you retreat, you lose your sense of reality, your adaptability. Getting older can also take you out of touch with reality. Because you causes you to lose your flexibility. You need to stay out there the more as you age, but as you age, grace develops too. Your basic traits become stronger, especially if you develop all of yourself, not just your sensitivity. Be in tune with your body. It is a great gift you can use, this sensitivity to your body. It can guide you and your opening to it will make it better. Of course, sensitive people want to shut the doors to the world and to their bodies can sometimes become fearful, but you can't do that. Self-expression is the better way. Rest. Infants need a lot of rest, don't they? So do highly sensitive bodies. We all need all kinds of rest. First we need sleep. If you have trouble sleeping, make this your first priority. We need other kinds of rest too, however. HSPs tend to be very conscientious and perfectionistic. We cannot play until all the details of our work are done. The details are like the little needles of arousal poking us. But that can make it difficult to relax and have some fun.
bookings B-E-M-F The fifth element of health Learn why pulsed electromagnetic field P-E-M-F therapy supercharges your health Nothing else by Brent A. Nez. Let's have a look. You probably know that food. Sunlight and oxygen are required for life, but there is a fifth element of health that is equally vital and often overlooked. The Earth's magnetic field and its corresponding pulsed electromagnetic fields. The two main components of Earth's PEMFs, the Schumann and the geomagnetic frequencies, are so essential that NASA and the Russian space program equip their spacecrafts with devices that replicate those frequencies. These frequencies are absolutely necessary for the human body's circadian rhythms, energy production, and even keeping the body free from pain. Page 14 The third element of health Air Oxygen There is a joke about a young seeker who made a pilgrimage to a seer and sage and asked what the secret to living a long life is. The wise man replied Keep breathing as long as you can. There is much truth to this humorous parable in that breathing gives us life-promoting oxygen, especially when it's from air that is highly energised and oxygenated. There is nothing as rejuvenating to the human body as fresh, clean air. Oxygen is the most essential nutrient. We can live a month without food, a few days without water, but only a few minutes without oxygen. In chapter 6, We'll examine in detail how crucial oxygen is for energy production in the body, namely ATP. The body creates 20 times more energy with oxygen than without, 38 
molecules of ATP doing aerobic respiration compared to two measly molecules of ATP during an aerobic respiration. Also, oxygen kills all germs, bacteria. This is not new information. Nobel Prize winner Otto Warburg proved that cancer cannot flourish in a high oxygen environment. Um, the best air to breathe deeply is highly energised and oxygenated air from the forest mountains and nature. City air can have as little as 12 to 15 percent oxygen compared to 20 percent in nature. Plus all of the pollutants. As oxygen levels decline in polluted cities, the reduced oxygen levels cause or worsen feelings of lethargy, ill health, sickness, anxiety, desperation and depression. So get outdoors into nature and breathe deeply. Sleep and exercise are essential for the overall health of our bodies. PEMF therapy improves peripheral circulation and blood flow to the skin while helping to keep the skin younger, so you can enjoy the many benefits of the sun. Hans Berger and the Schumann Brainwave Connection Dr. Winifred Otto Schumann The Pulse of the Earth In 1951, an unknown scientist made a discovery that should have changed the way we understand our deep connection to the Earth's frequencies. His name was Winifred Otto Schumann of the Technical University of Munich and he predicted that there are electromagnetic standing waves in the atmosphere within the cavity formed by the surface of the earth and the ionosphere. It seemed incredible to Schumann that the planet has a pulse, a measurable frequency that surrounds the earth and all life upon it.
this is a book for information about iodine. The iodine crisis. What you don't know about iodine can wreck your life by Lynn Thurrow. about bromine and a large frequently asked question section. Let's see. Let's start here. Chapter five. your body need iodine? What is iodine? Iodine is an essential micronutrient. This means it is needed in small amounts by every cell in the body. Iodine can be very powerful and our bodies have built in compensation mechanisms to conserve it. That's good news. Then there is bad news. Iodine deficiency has become a public health crisis because it's so vulnerable to displacement by environmental toxins such as bromide, pesticides, and food additives. And that's exactly what's causing the iodine deficiency. Bromine fire retardants around us. Introduced in the 1970s, they have accumulated in our homes, cars and workplaces. Iodine as a food fortifier was removed from flour around the same time, contributing to the iodine deficiency that has grown to epidemic proportions. Is nutritional iodine the same as the iodine in the medicine cabinet? A tincture of iodine is made with alcohol for use as a topical antiseptic. This alcohol form of iodine is not made for oral consumption and is usually marked 
with a skull and crossbones signifying it as a poison the main form of iodine used for the supplementation iodine we consume as a supplement is Lugol's iodine solution or Lugol's in tablet form. Other formulations are manufactured, but the iodine crisis speaks only to the Lugol's formulation. Iodine is available as a nutritional supplement just as any vitamin or mineral. This is a partial list of conditions we've seen helped by iodine. Allergies, brain fog, dry skin, cysts and nodules, fatigue, thyroid problems, ovarian problems, cognitive problems and clear thinking menstrual irregularities, weight gain, breast pain, feeling cold, gum infection, psoriasis, hair thinning, fertility problems, depression, a long, long How do I know if I'm iodine deficient? The most de definitive way to diagnose iodine deficiency is to be evaluated by an iodine literate practitioner. The results of taking the iodine loading test is used to get a baseline to determine how much is saturated in the tissues. stories of people using it for different things. Someone here helped with fatigue, depression and the spiral downwards of that. And stomach problems. sense of well-being returned and hair loss stopped. Interesting information to ponder. Iodine is not something that's just good for you. The effect lies in its profound power to detox, normalise and nourish the cells so they can work optimally. From an evolutionary perspective, Dr. Sebastiano Venturi suggests that iodine in the form of seaweed was probably the first antioxidant. Iodine is more of a missing link helps the body regulate and adapt. That's why it's called the universal nutrient. But no one should consider iodine a cure-all for anything.
finally finished one of my favorite books to flick through and read excerpts from time to time is Be Here Now This book is like a life manual from the perspective of Ram Das. It starts with a little history background. And then these beautiful dark pages of craft paper with beautiful artwork and words which are quotes from Ramdas's. around them and this follows on to the page before 
the only way out of that is to take the poles of every set of opposites and see the way in which they are one. And if you can get into that place where you see the interrelatedness of everything and you see the oneness in it all, then no longer are you attached to your polarised position. The whole thing about generation gaps is a hype. The spirit is the spirit. When you can centre and see the whole life as a story in which chapters are unfolding, then the moment to moment ego involvement of am I getting enough at this moment, it ceases to be a dominant theme. And you can start to live in the towel, which is the way. Jesus said, I am the way. It's the same way. The way is the way is the way. This is what man's journey into consciousness is all about. This is home. Home. It's going home. This is the place. Becoming one with God. Returning. It's the return to the roots that the Tao talks about. It is the stillness, the calmness, the fulfillment. When you make love and experience the ecstasy of unity, that's the place. When you experience a great achievement and you feel a moment of exhilaration, that's the place. When you see a moment of poetry in a flower or in words or in heart, the way it's supposed to be. Buddha Consciousness 
body is our temple where we live and where we do the work of becoming enlightened. Just as certain external environments are more conducive to increased awareness than others, at least in the early stages of awakening. So is with the inner environment, the body itself. It can be a clean, well-lighted place. What we eat affects the nature of the body, cells and organs, and the way they function. At another level, you could say, vibrations of anything you put into the organism modifies the vibration of the total organism. Eat light, healthy. We, as separate entities, could be characterized as energy transformers. We take in energy in certain forms and transform this energy and then admit it, emit it into other forms. Beings whose consciousness is totally attached to the physical plane Consider food, water, and air as the major sources of their energy. As a being progresses along the path, he comes to understand that there are other sources of energy available to him. Finally, he arrives at the stage where he is able to transmute everything in the universe to useful energy.
Sam's from the books. One, two, three. 